Hello again everyone, I just made a 30 minute video, way too long, but there were some really good um, points I was making, uh, not to exalt myself and pride, but um, there were some really helpful points, I'll say. So, I would like to make just a shorter video to, uh, to share those with more people. I know if people see a 30 minute video, they're not going to watch it. So this one will be very short, and I'm already doing over the time I should have done for an introduction, but briefly, we'll, we'll explain. All right. So if you want to eliminate sin in your life, especially all mortal sin, and eliminate most venial sin, this method adds such friction, such discipline to your life that um, you become tired of even venially sinning. So the practicalities of this method are that you have two options. If, um, if a sinful thought pops into your head unintentionally, say you look at something, say you're driving down the road and you see a sign, or say you're on the internet scrolling through social media you see something, or say a memory pops into your head, or just something somebody said to you throughout the day sparks a bit of anger in your heart. If that happens, briefly, just say the Oh My Jesus prayer. Just that one prayer, that very short prayer. It takes um, a bit of willpower to do that, but just that small willpower, just that small act, can really, um, it's like setting a small pebble on a pile of stones. Eventually, that that uh, pile grows pretty large, so just doing that really adds um, not only graces to your life because you're praying, um, making those bad things turn into good things, good coming out from them, but you're also adding friction whenever you have to stop what you're doing. So say I was scrolling through social media and I saw something inappropriate, um, and it wasn't that I consented to seeing it, but just clearing my mind with it clearing my mind from it by praying. Um, so I'll stop what I'm doing, just close my eyes and say that prayer, the Oh My Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of thy mercy. Amen. It's that short prayer. I just said the full prayer if you didn't catch that. But just saying that short prayer every time um, you are exposed to something every time you're exposed to something that you didn't want to be exposed to that will help you grow in holiness because it it kind of trains the flesh it beats the flesh up and eventually you kind of snap out of it. it's like if you're driving down the road you might um, be strengthened in custody of eyes like keeping your eyes directly on the road or um, scrolling through social media eventually um, you should already like be reforming your social media habits. You shouldn't be going on any websites that might have any inappropriate stuff upon them. Um, like, I think that will it'll make you be more careful if every time you were doing something that could have the potential to be to be a situation of sin, you'll take less steps toward that. But anyhow, the other the other option here. I gotta get this video under five minutes, so briefly. If you intentionally think of something, like you intentionally throw flames upon anger in your heart, like you, you're thinking of something, um, or like fantasizing about like something lustful, or just anything sinful, um, or say you had a thought of pride, and you entertained it, if you do this, or anything along these lines, anything that you are consenting to, um, and this is really cutting off moral sin from the, the first sprout, um, it's that consent part. So the way you break this is you do the same thing, you just stop what you're doing, close your eyes, then you say, one Our Father and three Hail Marys. And so you're getting quite a bit more prayers there. Um, just doing that, I think, there is a term for the three Hail Marys, the three Hail Marys devotion. Each one you should focus on for the first Hail Mary, focus on the power of the Father for the second Hail Mary, 
the wisdom of Jesus and the third Hail Mary, the love of the Holy Spirit. Just do those things, and we're going to go over five minutes, but we'll go a few seconds over. Just do those things, and it adds such a friction in your life, um, such a reminder of heaven, of praying to Mary and praying to God, praying to Christ. Um, it not only adds more graces to your life, making those potentially things that could spiral into something terrible, mortal sin or venial sin, those terrible things, and turning them to God, giving them to God. In those moments when you should be giving um, your full attention to God, he who is reminded of the presence of God shall never sin. All right, everyone, have a good Sunday, and watch that 30-minute video if you like, if you want more of this content. I'll put a link in the bio for those who are watching this 20 years from now, and they can no longer find that video. So, amen.